a young lady here, yeah, please. The children have tried a lot of new experiences and new eating places and done fairly well. Watch what Daddy's doing, Raph. This is what you do. But at the same time, we're not immune from meltdowns or... Nobody's immune from meltdowns. How will we go home? We're going to eat dinner here yeah. and try some new things. We'll see how we go. Mummy? Mm-hmm. In every country restaurant, is there a French guy? Hello, Bonjour. how are you? Estragon? This is what they eat in France. Do you want to try one? No. <laughs> Tay, would you like to try? Mm -hmm. Tay, don't worry, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Though. One of the things children have complete control over is their eating. You cannot force feed them, and if you do, it's borderline child abuse. You can't open their mouth and put things in. Everything that goes in your mouth is your choice. Good job, babe. So you've got to find ways to encourage them to try new things and to do it in a calm way without overreacting. It was you, Lara, you said that forcing food is child abuse. Let's pull that back. <laughs> I meant, like, <laughs> sticking it literally in their mouth, so... I did not mean. <laughs> the offering is refuse, great, is not but the refusal, it is their body and it is their choice. And you put that, you put that well, you know, yeah. whatever goes in your mouth is your choice.